crossing for the trip it's a pretty straightforward one but it was cool and today we're going as far as Dargo I think and then up to a mountain I can't remember the mountain I'll find that out later on the day but anyhow so the uh, roads less traveled are working out very well there's just nothing difficult in it just as, as I've said so far we're generally just touring and the roads haven't been hardcore four wheel drive tracks. So it hasn't been a lot of stuff I could show you of the roads we're driving other than some of the fast forwarded footage you may have seen by now. But uh, that's the nature of touring, you just drive the tracks that are there. But you guys know that, so why am I telling you this? I don't know. Anyhow, we're uh, continuing on our way. The camper trailer is performing very well. It has had its first little incident where I tore an Anderson plug off it. But uh, that happens. I replaced it, all is fine. So, uh, and so far it's proven to be watertight, so that's good. Alright, well uh, we're just climbing up some mountains and uh, we'll show you some scenery as we go along and what we've been doing on the day as you sort of expect. We'll see you a little bit further down or up the track. I've got some pretty good scenery coming up now. I might catch that on a different camera for you. Just substitution for your lonely bed. So that's impressive. How much you're missing. Feelings in my heart. In my heart. Yeah, that's impressive. How much you're missing. Feelings in my heart. And that was only reach 500 meters is that right yep 500 meters up in the air or oh, above ground how is that going up the hill oh, I can see it all. it's great fun I have to go a bit faster up the hills because I'm towing an anchor so not actually hooning, I'm just pushing it up there to get the trailer up. I can see everybody say all good. Sometimes the trees are a bit tight. Oh, no, no. Set, uh, run again. Set, 
trying to stay straight through this. Get right in. Business this lighter. All good, you see. We've got four or five inches on this side. And the bump is through. through. Here, boy. Good stuff. Down and dust. And that, my friends, was a little tight. About 400 metres up the road and around two corners, and we came across this. Right, well, after we took Tony through, the part where his left hand wheel was soft and sinking. So we've made a decision to cut the tree to get the wider trucks with the bigger trailers and stuff through without putting us on the soft drop off the edge kind of material. So that's what we've done. So this lane here, it's soft, and even if you walk it, it feels, yeah, you can feel that soft. So Tony probably did well to be the only one to go over that. So we're gonna cut this and give us a bit more room. Fearless leader. And now there's Matt. Enough we say about Matt is, is too much. It's Terry. So we're in the pub. So I'd have lunch at the pub. Well, I wandered from the eating area of the Dago pub into the main bar, and it's pretty impressive. Ute trays for uh, bar tops, stubby coolers, and paraphernalia for as far as the eye can see. Uh, and I realised the jukebox was playing, so I couldn't use the audio that I'd recorded in there. So hopefully you can put up with me talking about it. It's a pretty cool pub with some cool gear in it. And then, while I was wandering around, I spotted this pole. So that gave me an idea, which I reckon you'll see in just a moment. There's a section where there's some stickers. And you're the ones we've seen. Forby Brothers. Follow those guys. Racing. Watch him. 
on the duck. And you know who that is? Rico's Australian Ruby Scully. So if the YouTube channel is one above the other. Ed, where's your sticker? Well, this harmless little creek crossing led us on to Trails Track outside of Dargo, probably 10 k's out or something. We thought it was going to be a nice, easy afternoon to get to camp, but uh, we were wrong. Just watch what happens after this, and uh, yep, we were wrong. That's pretty well all I'm going to say. As we all know, cameras never do these tracks justice when it comes to the angle and the steepness. This track doesn't look too bad, but it is quite steep and shaly. And uh, as you'll see, things get more interesting. Well, the team have been in real trouble down here, bogged. Well, not bogged, but caught on a tree root for a while. So I've been parked for probably 25 minutes, half an hour where I was. It's pretty steep. It's gnarly. It's first gear low range. And even then with brakes on. To the point where I've turned probably my air aircon off so it doesn't idle up for the first time in years so that'll give you an idea what it's like I did use crawl control earlier but the steering inputs for crawl control are horrible so for this bit I've chosen to go just down in first gear low range and just try to drive it and use lots of lots of brake and so on so uh, we're seeing how we go. It certainly is steep and I do have a trailer giving me a bit of a nudge so it's, a, it's all action. Anyway we're uh, working our way down the mountain and uh, you're hopefully seeing it as I'm seeing it. Now Matt and Adam have got rid of the bulk of the tree root from what I can see so uh, as long as I stay very left I should be okay we're making our way up this junction spur track it's steep and unpleasant, very shaly, bouncy, and generally not easy. And it would appear that Adam has done himself a mischief with a flat tire, which has happened in, of course, the exact worst spot. So, I think 
I don't know, I'm looking to see what they're up to. I think he might be going to winch because he can't possibly change the tyre where he is from what I can see. So he might be going to winch it to see or to get to a better spot. Looks like there's a winch cable running out off the front. <laughs> and, um, yeah, it's not good. It's never a good time for a flat. On a bloody 45 degree hill. It's definitely not good. Especially with a trailer on. So, this is the situation he's found himself in as I get closer. Oh. It's hard walking this guys. So feeling at this stage, Kath. <laughs> Brave face, I reckon, guys. Anyway, looks like Adam and Maddie are running winches and uh, extension straps. So this is going to be a, a long run up this hill. Under mostly which I'd say. With absolutely bugger all, most of us can do the help, other than get that set up. When he does get subway reviews, that's got to get judged. Oh, never fun days. Anyway, with all that said, I to get back down there. Can't stop looking forward to that either. Just to trying to walk down here. It's a bloody challenge. And I'm wearing the wrong footwear for it. Anyhow, that's how it goes. So I'm not gonna put you through watching all the recovery and stuff. There's a gap boo walk. So I'll see you in a while. All right, we've been on this track for a couple of hours and we're literally a couple of k's from camp but after the flat tire we just literally cannot get this thing up the hill we've pulled the winch cable out of the drum and there's snatch recoveries going on up there and as you may be able to hear that's thunder. Get later to the steepness of this hill. If I didn't show you before. Our camera is not going to do that justice. If you can see where that brake light is, that is 20 metres higher than where I'm standing and it's only about 50 metres in front of me, maybe 60. So there's problem number one. We've got to get that thing up the hill. And it's really just not, not doing it. Uh, hopefully, I don't see any more rain. We've had a little bit of rain. So in preparation, just in case, I've got the front tyres on the 200 down to 14 now, and the back's on 18, the trailer's on 14. Yeah, I, I can't help the guys. There is nothing I can do for them. I can't go up there and attach anything. They've got all the straps and stuff up there. I'm a bit like a shag on a rock down here. The only thing I'm thinking at the moment is, given where we are, 
even if they get up, depending on what's going on, uh, I might be camping here. I've got that clearing there. Now I can get the camper trailer just here and it'll open that way and that will give me somewhere to sleep. I'm hoping that's not how it's going to be but it really could be because this rain situation although not heavy is not helping and by the time Adam gets up there I'm not liking my choice of lines to try and stay out of slop anyway that's the situation so I haven't I haven't been filming it because realistically it's it's a whole bloody nightmare so I've just been sitting here hoping for the best but you might be able to hear in the background there's a bit going on I nearly got him he's got to try and get him up another section but it is stupidly hard guys it's hard for him to get him going and all I can do is be a spectator so uh, <laughs> God knows what we're going to do here guys anyway we'll see you in a while our turn and uh, as you'll see from this I'm not talking much I'm concentrating so I'll let you listen to the sounds of a 200 climbing its way up there and uh, apologies for the possible swear words at the end but anyway uh, I hope this gives you an idea of what it was like Oh my God. I know video doesn't show it any justice, but this is a very, very steep hill. Very steep hill. Uh, it took the car in front one and a half hours to get up it. We just drove it. Cheeky us. As you can see, after a few more hours of things going on in front of us, it's finally our turn in the dark. So sit back and watch what happens next. Ah, anyway. Alrighty, I'm coming up. see things got a bit worse it was time for winching well 
anyway, the rest of the evening went on with winching and yeah, there's not a lot of fun for you guys watching me winching in the dark. We did get out of the bush and we wound up driving to our next campsite, but you guys will have to see that next week. So hope you can tolerate this little bit of nighttime footage that I've put in for you, but uh, it shows you what goes on. Now I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, put a like on it, it helps the channel. If you're new here, consider subscribing. If you do subscribe, click the notification bell. You'll know when a new clip comes out. And to the old hands, thanks again as always for watching one of our clips. And we shall see you next week when you see where we woke up. All the best guys, cheers from Steve and Kaz at Mud Ducks Four Wheel Drive Touring. One look, the heat is rising, and I've been cold for so long. One touch, and we're igniting, setting fire.